Hello. Hopefully this is working. It's another reason we like doing it live instead of StreamYard. Everything is reverse. Yeah. Yeah, so hopefully this is working and we're not uploading it to someone else's YouTube account, but it's going on to ours because I'm seeing here now that we're under our son's name. But oh. well, we clicked on our, our avatar, so it should be going on to our YouTube <laughs> Okay, well, we'll just continue. And if it's not, then we'll just snatch it from his. Snatch it from his. Um, <laughs> pre recorded. Sorry, son. Vintage and collectibles live sale. You know how much he loves this stuff? Yeah. Oh, he's going to be so thrilled to see this on his channel, hey? Or his Google page, whatever it might be. Oh, so join us and have a cup of coffee. Yeah. Welcome here. So glad that you are joining us. But. Uh, Sorry that we won't see you in the chat. Um, if all goes as planned, we will be at the camper and probably not with any internet unless we go up to the hills. <laughs> yeah, there is a spot that we can get a little bit of service yeah. if we. So we'll I'll, I'll, I'll go and see if um, we'll put this out when our scheduled time is for Saturday. Actually, it worked really nice last Saturday and we did it at five instead of six okay that's i'm gonna set it to go um for five o'clock on saturday instead of six and that's eastern time so hopefully you're watching this now and uh we have some great things for you oh yeah today's lot we went and picked um we, we accumulated a fair amount and uh there's stuff that we have not Definitely not put out there before. Yeah, lots uh, of fresh things today. And I think yeah. I titled it too, lots of fresh items. So And uh, vintage, we have depression glass. Uh-huh. We have kitsch. One... Ooh, there's so much kitsch. We have Watson House stuff. Do we really? <gasps> we do. My goodness, they're still popping out. Yeah, we still have that. Um, we have, we literally, literally have stuff from all over our province and we also have some <laughs> stuff from dc neighboring provinces i'm not yeah. sure if anything from alberta but we've kind of put ourselves on a spending freeze because we've talked about it in probably in every video for a month that our house is just getting too full but the sourcing as i'm sure you know is the fun fun part we're just running out of room so we got to move some stuff and we made a pact that we wouldn't shop <laughs> in august so we're gonna see if this is gonna work maybe maybe and then when september rolls around look out <laughs> yeah all right so let's get started um gonna be a little different here i will probably be writing most of the sale because this was literally an hour ago we decided we need to record this and I don't have my like little tags all together. So I'm going to kind of be doing that while he's picking stuff out. So I hope you just uh, bear with us. And... We watched, uh, we're watching a movie. We, were, we rented the 99 cent movie off of Apple. Mm, yeah. And it, what was it called? Uh, the Father. <laughs> the Father. The Father. It's a recent. Ad Anthony Hopkins. Hopkins yeah. oh, just so, so heartbreaking. Did they did it first. Yeah. They did an excellent portrayal of how someone dealing with dementia is, how it is in their mind and how they are seeing things. But they still did an excellent job of portraying how hard it is on the family, in this case, the daughter. It oh, was just yeah. amazing. I would definitely recommend that movie. Um, so, okay, let's get started here. Okay. These are the first two items I know absolutely nothing about. I think these, these? those are Northwood, Northwood pattern. pattern. And I think they're made in the U.S. because they're that chunky, chunky pottery, but they're gorgeous colors. Mm -hmm. um, salt and pepper shakers. Right. And what were we asking for these? We will say four. Four dollars? Four dollars. Four dollars. Okay. And really they are... Good condition. Number 159. So they have a blue top with a lighter blue rim and a green beneath that. Kind of a creamy white. Really good shape. 
four dollars yes. 159 Next up, oh, there's more to grab. Let's go with some vintage depression glass. Pretty. Wow. These are in super condition. They are, I don't see any chips on them. They kind of have that light pink color to them. I seen one the other day when we were at a thrift store. Yeah, but its mate wasn't there. These, they look like the lines on them, the pattern, everything are super like that um, 60s kind of a look, that mid-century look. Really great lines to these creamer and sugar. What uh, were you asking for? $12 this? for these. $12? For both as a set. Pink sugar plus creamer. They are number 100. Number 100? Ten dollars for this set, or sorry, twelve. <laughs> <laughs> twelve dollars for this set. Next, we'll go with a two-dollar item. This is Avon. There is a little bit of um, well, I can. Oh yeah, it smells Avon-y. <laughs> Uh, the top is plastic. It looks like it's daffodils. I think those are lilies of the valley. Lilies of the valley. Okay, got that way wrong. With a glass ornamental bottom to it. So probably 60s? 70s. 70s? Okay. So $2, number 128 for that. Yes. Next, we're going to go with two magazines. One is an army, and I guess not magazines, but catalog. One is an army and navy, 1978 to 79. Are you doing these separately? I'm doing these separately. Okay. The, the cover has um, is loose, and this is also from the house that we purchased. Mm -hmm. There is pictures of linens. Um, Outfits, I guess, whatever army and navy kind of carried. Some pretty cool looking photos in there. There's the order envelope, I think, as well. Boots. What year is this one? 78, 79. 78? So it looks actually older than what it is, I think. That's the front. That's the back. And there's a tear on the cover, and, and it is loose. So we're going to ask $5 for this one, number 139. $5, number 139. Next, we have a home and holiday values. Now, I remember some kind of a motocross bike when I was a child. Actually, probably would have been this one. This is 1979. My brother had something like that. Oh, that's cool. This is a co-op. Do you remember Mark's bike like that? Or was that before your time? Before you came into my life? Well, I'm not sure how old he would have been then. 95. He always used to pretend that it was his dirt bike. Could be. <laughs> I just remember them being around. And these photos, on the, again, are really cool. Um, they are not color. But they have a color background. But the bikes are really cool. Camping equipment. Chainsaws. We'll do five dollars on this one. And the color only color, colored photos are the are on the back and the front. The rest are just really cool images. This again is from the house that we purchased. So number one fourteen, and it's five dollars. For one fourteen. That is pretty awesome. These, I don't know anything about. Oh, Where are they from? These are Japan. Uh, I picked these up a while back. Elephant salt and um, pepper shakers. They're, they're, they're like that patchwork kind of a look. Oops, backward stuff. Um, yeah, I don't know. They would look really cute even as decor in a nursery, I thought. 
this one they oh, look chip. no they look kind of uh quilted because of their the stitch the way they're stitched and things like that it looks like they are stuffies made from an old quilt little elephants on pepper shakers it almost looks like some mexican pottery kind of on the oh yeah the, oh yeah i see what you mean by the by uh, the doodling on it mm -hmm. um these we will do five dollars for the pair five for the pair they look like they're in really good shape one is missing its cork they are marked japan five dollars number 131 131 yeah sorry i'm just we're multitasking yes and i've got my handy dandy helper with me today that's what i am that's oh, what you are yes i've heard coffee sick <laughs> coffee break mm -hmm. me too so i found this one and i couldn't leave it there this reminds me of 70s and we're not we're wondering if this is uh lucite this material it's got a red diamond silver diamond and another red diamond on top the cover is plastic yeah. and it's an all in really good shape has a decal or a sticker on there that says max 60 watts for the bulb it works we plugged it in it all works really well as of course the vintage cord on there the i guess i should measure that when it's together just to give you guys an idea and then that uh almost marbly yeah, uh it gray looks like a grayish marble plastic, plastic bottom yeah so 12 so we're almost 16 inches on that and about eight inches across for the plastic um cover i don't ever remember seeing these plastic covers as a kid yeah but i remember seeing lamps with this and it looks like lucite yeah, and I think that's the original shade. I would think so. I anyway. think so. I'm I'm pretty confident that's because it fits has to fit over this. Yeah, and as far piece. as shipping goes, it completely comes yep. like the shade comes off. So. It does come off, so we pack it separately like yeah. that. In a box. And what do you want to ask for that? Uh, this one, let's say, it's really cool. Let's say twelve dollars. Okay, that's a screaming deal. I think twelve dollars, number one forty nine. I'm calling it lucite. I don't know if it is. No, but it. It's acrylic plastic of some sort. Yeah. Next up, let's do your little. You said these were a set of three, but I don't recall. They say home. Home oh, yeah, they're home call. Made in Taiwan. Yeah, this is a set of beagles. Beagle they're number puppies. 1407 on the bottom. So there is a set of three. And I think they're yeah, one at all a time, so I'm not shape. covering faces. Yeah, they all look like they're in really good shape. It's the bottom of one. This one's laying down. And this set of three, I'm going to ask $8 for. $8 for the set of three. And they are number 138. Covering his eye. Don't work with the thing. <laughs> Come from the side. Oh, you're so cute. You know what? We should have grabbed a pair of. Um, <gasps> this guy's scratching his ear. Slow. Yeah, I just didn't notice that. Well, sorry, I interrupt. That's you okay. Lie. You just that's all right. <laughs> I get overwhelmed with the cuteness. So we were sourcing and looking through a house. I think we mentioned this in the other video. The oldest house in this small town. And we came across so I've been going around with this Rebecca's little uh mm -hmm. black light. Found this little cup. Just as I was swinging by and it shone on it and it glows. Oh, it doesn't show up on the uh, screen as it does yeah, here. Yeah, it doesn't. Oh, actually, that's not bad. No? That's not bad. 
Yeah, it glows like wow. Yeah, it, it really doesn't do it justice on no, the screen. No, it doesn't, but it is, it's not the same color as green it glowing, but you can tell it is glowing. So for this little guy, we only have the one. I love the handle. It's like, it's like a piece of a slab of glass, the handle. Yeah. Super cute. We'll say $3. There's no markings on it for the glowy glass, the uh, glowy cup, I'll call uranium it. glass. It is number 127. $3. And it's just itty bitty. It's small. It's like one and three quarter diameter, one and three quarter inches. This we found hanging in the house where we bought that old white um, cupboard mm -hmm. and that mid-century modern shoe bench. This is a, what is it called? Copper Craft Guild, Kitchener, Ontario. So it's made in Canada. Now it is fairly large picture frame. It is a sign. It is faded, I think. It's signed Robert... Lysig. I'm really, not really great with names. Is that Lysig? Yeah, I would say so. That's the back of it. There's a copper craft uh, sticker on there. Yeah, it's plastic this made is, to look like wicker and so what wood. What do you call that? That plastic. There's a name for it. Um, There's a number oh on the Lord, back. I don't know. That too. Thirty-three twenty-six, and some writing in the bottom that I haven't seen before. Sirocco. Copyright, there's a copyright number on here. Dart Industries, it says on the back. So this one, we'll measure it for you. Just a uh, picture of a uh, bouquet of flowers. It is approximately. Kind of, what do you call it, like a crosshatch? It sounds like a Hawaiian decor. 15. Or Hawaiian frame. Yeah, it does look kind of like that, doesn't it? 15. 15 by... 15 by 17, I would say. So 15 by 17. It's uh, not heavy at all. What do you want for this? I would say $4. All right. You've given away the deals today. $4, number 108 for the picture. It's good shape, but I think it might be a little bit faded. It might be, yeah. The frame's good. Oh, ring the bell. Next up, we have a. Uh, this one will be ten dollars, and it's just over seven and a half inches in diameter, and it's a North Taki serving tray. These are made in Japan. There is the um, markings on the back of the plate. Really cool uh, scene on there. It almost looks like um, like an Eastern city no oh yeah it does um so for this beautiful plate tidbit tray or whatever you want to use it or call it um is number 158 and it's ten dollars has a gold rim yeah, on there it's in beautiful condition the gold on top really nice collector's piece trinket tray i would think that's hand painted and airbrushed because this to me, oh, this is chipped here. Oh, didn't see that. Yeah, that is chipped. It's paint chipped. That is a few little chippies, but it looks like the sky, doesn't it? I guess I thought it was just part of the yeah. painting. Didn't you notice that? Because this part looks stenciled, airbrushed and stenciled. Well, then we will say. Are we going to reduce the price? We'll say okay. $8. We'll say $8. $8. Okay, I didn't either. All right, well, I'm going to change that right away. Yep, go ahead. You change that, and I will grab something else to chat about. All right, so $8 then for the Noritake tray with the little paint loss, number 158. This is a small trinket. I found that this thing opens up. It has a magnet on here 
And so it's a small little like a ring holder or a trinket dish. And it's a like a underneath is like brass. What kind of metal it is for sure, I'm not, I don't know. But there's all these little diamonds in the tail of the peacock. And it's like a blue glaze, yellow, red, green. Even the interior of the trinket dish has been glazed. So with this one, we're going to say, let's say $12. The metal, it's a metal piece. Yes. Number 147. 147. I guess I should quickly just give him a length measurement. He is seven and a half. No, make that. Well, between seven, seven and a half inches from here to here. It's pretty. Let's pull up a piece of Blue Mountain Pottery. Now, this one has markings on there. I can see BMP Canada. So this is a actual Blue Mountain Pottery piece. Very uh, elegant, I guess you could say. Mm -hmm. Very, <laughs> there very is, nice lines. There is one tiny chip right here. And because of that chip, I will say, uh, I'll say $7 for that. I'm going to give a measure. I'll yep, I can this. do a height measurement. It's number 150. And seven dollars. Seven and a quarter inches tall. Approximately just under six inches width from here to the uh, edge of the handle. Very nice piece. I'll just see if I can show you the markings on the bottom. The handle is very unique. It's hard to see it. Very nice. And I think these are just called paperweights, right? Yeah. I don't know. Anything. How they do make the art in the glass of that bubble is beyond that one, me. Yes. Explain it. Yes. This one we got at the flea market that we were just at. Right. We mentioned that last time too. There was this really cool yeah. it uh, does have flea market. One little chippy do right there. Um uh, yeah so it's just got this floral with a control bubble in the center of that flower. I should have wiped it down. It's kind of dirty. But there is that one chip in it. And because of that little chip, I'm going to say $4 on this one. I'm going to measure that one. Sure. Not very large. It is about two inches in diameter. So is that, how do they do that? I don't know. It's just amazing to me. And to make it like a bubble. I don't know. So it's not perfectly round. Hopefully I will have that um, flea market video up in a couple of days. I just need to do the voiceover for it. Number 145, $4. Yeah. Okay. Up next. Let's go with a rolling pin. There we go. <laughs> Vintage, cool rolling pin. Red handles on it, very nice decor piece, and you can still use it. Oh, totally. It's been really rolled right here, you can tell. <laughs> it's, it's not... Um, I should do the whole length. I don't know if this one would be called uh, like a pastry one, because it's not very... Um, 17 and a half inches long. Because you get them a lot thicker. You see them a lot thicker sometimes. This okay. one is... The diameter is not very... No, it is not a thick hair. Yeah. Right? yeah, I remember I haven't used a rolling pin in a long time, but I, I, ha I have. Like even the one that we have is, is thicker. What are um, you asking for this one? So it's going to be $5 and it is number 121. Why that backwards camera? $5 <laughs> number 121. It's actually not quite dead center. I remember mom's student was never totally center of the rolling pin. You'd always feel that. Oh. It's really, really cool piece for the is. kitchen. Yeah, and especially with the red hand. Well, that baker's or that, uh, oh, what was it called? The Housier? Yeah. That would look was, cool. Is that a whole that, Housier hey? or 
Is that how it's pronounced? No, actually. But it's, oh, look, really, because it had that, mm -hmm. it was missing that piece for the flower bin. But it would be perfect for something like that. I have to buy another one. Sifter? The sifter that we had? Yeah. It would have been so cool. We got to buy another one <laughs> and keep it. Uh, yeah. All right. How about another piece of uh, copper? Actually, I'm going to go to the teapot. Oh. And we had a whole bunch of flower bags. My goodness. Yeah, we did. We could have made a really cool. We should maybe. Okay, we'll. <laughs> this one thing at a time. Is a really cool teapot from the uh, yeah. house we purchased. It gets hammered. It's yeah, it is hammered. It's hard to see inside. It's been well used. It's in the center. You can see that little silver spot. That is a pot mender. So I find that so interesting to buy them. <laughs> with the pot mender because we found a pack of pot menders and it's they actually use that to seal it up had a leak they drill the hole and mm -hmm. this one comes from canada made in canada niagara falls ontario and it's called reg regd sauna home that's what name very well used mm -hmm. the handle is in in great shape pot mender on the bottom mm -hmm. what you asking for that the lid this is a really cool piece really nice display piece again um i will say six dollars for that one okay okay i want to show the hand and the uh, spout six dollars number 116 see that hammered oh that looks cool i know i've kept this one for a long time i had it on display on my mantle. Oh boy. Um, okay. Now I've seen some of these recently. They are hung and they were hung in the walls as decoration. And again, they are the same brand as that last photo, but a different style of uh, art. What is that brand? This is all plastic. This is that same Sirocco. Oh, Sirocco wear. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I imagine it would have had that decal on there, but it's gone. But there is a How copyright number. S-Y-R-O-C-O. -O. The company. Copyright number on there. So for the pair, we will ask. Oh, I should give you the length. On that. These are eight, 20 inches in length. Twelve. Yep, they are 20 inches in length, and they are the widest point, about six and a half inches wide at the widest point here at the top. For the pair, six dollars. You hand enough the deals, honey. Six dollars, number 140. Three dollars each. And this is the back of them. Yeah, they have their hangers too. Yep, they have their hangers. You have a oh a tablecloth. You know what? I forgot to measure this. Story of every sale. <laughs> well, let's uh, see here. Okay, well, that's longer than I thought. Yeah, I think it's rectangular, too. Okay, well, this is <laughs> an arm's length. Yeah. Do you know so what the length of our table is? Probably, we're probably almost talking six feet. Okay. Six feet by four feet. I love the um, the print on this. Where is this from? Is this from the house, too? No, this one was in uh, my linen box of just stuff when I want to put a linen in a sale, I go and grab it. But it's like um, kind of Italian. It's got olives and like the um, the salad dressing and tomatoes and things like that. So it's kind of... The end and here's the bread. It's about approximately six by four. And it's in great shape. It is. It's um, that uh, same... 
Same material that reminds me of those uh, pillowcases or flower beds. Mm -hmm. Um, you want me to price this one? Yes, please. I'm going to say $10. That's really cool. You know, I was thinking today, some days that I know it wasn't feasible, but should have kept that house. <laughs> that would look cute in the kitchen, hey? $10, number 123 for the tablecloth. Okay, I'm going to grab. Oh, this is pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I don't know where do you start. This is Canadian cranberry glass. Chalet. Chalet. Is this Chalet? This is a so. genuine cranberry glass. What makes it so special? Cranberry is made by fusing solid gold with lead crystal to produce this subtle, subtle color. Canadian originality is exemplified in this artistic, mouth blown, and hand formed creation. Canadian Cranberry Glass is destined to be tomorrow's collector's item. Shelley Artistic Glass. Yep, it this is Shelley. Tag is on there. So I don't Look think... that bottom. Yeah, there's the pontal mark. That's just beautiful. And the sides have... Yeah, um, stamp. They, they the apply the handle with a, like a stamp. But the rope handle is so amazing as well. You're going to be able to part with that one? Well, I don't know. I'm going to ask $30 for this just because it's just so fantastic. <laughs> I don't think that it's old because it's got like the tag and everything. How old but, do you think um, it is? I think Chalet is still in, in business. So honestly, I don't know what this would be. There's not a website on there, is there? No. Nope. Okay, so then, yeah, that take could be from... Would it be um, 80s? I honestly don't even know if I could venture a guess. Okay, we won't even guess. We'll no. just... I've seen other pieces like this for sale. Yeah, um, but Chalet smaller. is just I've such seen... quality glass, and it's Canadian. Yeah. And so, just the process of making this color. Yes. Sounds interesting. And um, So it's going to be $30, and it is number... 157. We will pack it really well because we don't want chalet basket. This handle to break. $30, number 157. Height wise, I guess I'll just go. Oh, yeah, tell you. that might be a good idea. Hey. It's seven inches in length and about six inches wide because you can see it's a bit rectangular and in height. About nine inches in height. Well, we we have had so many. We still have some. We've sold probably a hundred ashtrays. Oh, 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 yes. <laughs> but we still have some. We have blue melon pottery ashtrays, and today we're going to go with this guy. And. I've seen lo lots of pottery made with this style. I don't know what it's called. I think it's splatterware or something. This could be used as a candy dish, or it could be used as a key dish or a key or, holder. Um, paint brushes. Paint brushes you could put across. Mm -hmm. Grandkids could put the crayons in there. Aww. I'm not sure why this little lip is here on the side. I'm, is that where you put out your butt? I don't know. There is some letters on the bottom, but I can't make out what it says. So for this piece, we're going to say $5. Oh my goodness. Oops, is that? <laughs> no, that's fine. Okay. That's a, just a smash and deal. Um, splatter ashtray. It is... Eight inches by seven and a half by three and a half tall. Number 115. 
I think it's a redware too, mm -hmm. right? Did you show the bottom? Or no, that's not redware. It's not redware, no. I did show the bottom. Okay. I can't remember what we paid for this little guy. Little chalkware genie. Mm -hmm. At least to me, it looks like a genie. <laughs> it's got the genie pants, right? And the gold uh, shoes. Nice shape. Just one. I'm not sure if there would have been a pair. Here's the back of it. The hanger. So green and gold. And this guy's about six inches tall, three inches wide. And I think we're going to say eight bucks, okay. eight dollars. He's just unique. I have not seen a chalkboard like this. It usually berries. <laughs> That's what we sold a lot of from that house was berries and fruit. Actually, we did sell those deer heads. They were cool. Yes, the deer were the very, deer heads very were cool. cool. And they sold really fast. Yeah, I, I think that was one of the first things we sold out of the booth were those deer head chocolate. Okay. So here's a clear frosted, clear and frosted glass uh candy dish really good shape i don't know what those flowers are i won't even guess rebecca's well, knows more about flowers than i do mm -hmm. they kind of just look like lilies i don't know and this is about four and three quarter inches and this will be four dollars number 129 Good shape. Can you show this already? I didn't show it. I just said. Oh, okay. <laughs> Four dollars, number one twenty-nine. Hmm. Let's go with. I like you to mention these. I don't know. These are. I think we'll sell these. Individually. Individually, but they are the same. So then just, uh, yeah. what would you do? Two if, different numbers or the same number? The same twice? number, but if you okay. want both of them, be the first to type this item number in twice. These are very nice. So shape. these are what I believe to be refrigerator dishes. They're in excellent, excellent condition. And... They're like butter dishes or... Yeah, like a loaf pan or refrigerator dishes. I don't know. But you can put the lids on like this for storing or for stacking. Really, really cool design. Six and a half by four inches um, by two and three quarter tall. What is what is that written there? Is it Passabi? Pass? P-A-S-A-B-A. H E E pass pass of uh pass of I don't know. Um, pass of I don't even can't read that letter, didn't start to pronounce it, but you want to, um, I, will, I will zoom in on that. Pass of something. What would you like me to do? Measure them, or did I you did. ready? Yep, okay. Four by six and a half by so they're gonna be ten dollars each. Um two and three quarter. These are these are uh really good shape and so the first two people to type 60s, in 50s? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. To type in the number 126 will like get the dishes. Um yeah, so, so they're ten dollars each. So it's 146 times two if you would want them. Both. Yeah. No, oh, you're yeah. looking them up? <laughs> pass a uh, uh, pass, pass, pass. Um, storage dishes, maybe. Oh, there we go. It's 
says it's a butter dish, like according to this. Really? This one says it's a pretty good butter dish. So are these not old at all? They sure look old. Oh my goodness, they're butter dishes. Oh no, this one has, well, this is, is that butter? That might be butter, yeah. Or cheese, there's cheese in there. Well, I think these are, I really don't know anything about it. Hmm. Okay, well, we're learning. We're learning as we're, we're learning selling. As we're selling. Anyway, they're super cool. And they're in excellent condition, so uh, we'll stick with the ten dollars each. So they could be used like this. I guess so, but they are very versatile because for stacking and everything like that, and then the next one could go on top of it. Uh, um, you are. <laughs> Etsy's trying to sell them for 40 bucks a piece. Oh, it says vintage there too. You yeah. can't sell them. Vintage all. glass refrigerator. Butter dish. So I don't know. We'll stick okay. with what we said. Okay. That's all good. And again, these we've had for some time. Yes. We kind of forgot we had them. They were we have too much. Sitting, have too sitting in the back of, of the cupboard. Yeah. All Next, right. we will do a Bailey's Winky Cup. We just have the boy. Just, this is the boy. This is yum. These are look really cool. Really good shape. Um, five bucks. Five dollars. You betcha. Number 136 for the Bailey's Winky Cup. Next is this really cool <laughs> green glass with a with a gold rim. It looks really good. It looks pretty good on the screen too. This when I looked it up, it's a, what they call um, eucalyptus. The color. Okay. And I think it's Libby. I think there's an L etched in the bottom. I think you are right. The Libby L. So a Libby decorative. Uh, would it be a wine glass or is it a i think it's a cordial glass or something like that brandy glass so what do you want for that one i'm gonna say four, four. that's what you're gonna say yep okay four dollars really nice shape green glass very nice yeah. as, a, as a decorative piece on its own oh yeah at christmas or saint patrick's day yeah mm-hmm Four dollars, number one fifty-four. Next, we have two Avon perfume bottles, and they're one the angel's playing a banjo or a mandarin. I think a mandarin playing on a, a banjo. Mandolin. Mandolin. What did I say? A mandarin. <laughs> He's playing an orange. Oh. <laughs> Words. Hard. And this guy is playing a harp. Our girl's playing a harp guy. I don't know. Angel. Angel. <laughs> so we're going to say $4 for both. Four for the pair. That sounds good to me. Okay. 150. Nope. That was the other one. That was the other one. 126. 126. Four dollars for both. Angel Avon pair. The tops are they're plastic. The bottom is glass. Avon on the bottom. Four dollars. Next we've got 
think this bought this from a gentleman. I think it is uh, from England, possibly. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I know his fox and hound stuff was. So it's like a uh, pixie or a. She's like a Dutch elf or Dutch girl. Okay, just has a, a look of a those pixie things you're showing me. Very nice piece, very good shape, very good colors. Mm-hmm. Um, I think we're gonna say eight dollars on that one. Sounds fair to me. Nice boss. It is about six and a quarter inches tall. By about five and a half. We'll have to really wrap that one well because she has her, her hair coming out the, the edge here. Number 153, $8. Um, I, she's not marked anything on the bottom. I don't know no, who's, no who's made her or how old she is. What's that called when they have the three? Pieces That's of Royal Copley. But Royal Copley? Yeah. We, we did manage to pick up some of those as well. Got them in our stash of loot. Reach over here. Next, we have this. And this is called Mexican pottery ish. Oh, well, it's marked Japan. It's marked Japan. It reminds but, me of the Mexican pottery we've purchased. Or um, Otagiri with the speckle. Okay, so Otagiri. Mexican pottery. It's marked Japan. It's marked I don't Japan. know. It's cool. It reminds me of the um, what are they called? Those pottery containers. Like the a milk. Crock? crock. Like a crock. It's, it's like a little crock. Four and a half tall. Three and a half wide at the base. Really nice shape. I'm not sure if there was a cork on the top or not at one time. Let's say four dollars. All right, I'm gonna call it a crock planter. Crock planter, there you go, really cool. Is it glazed on the inside? You could put water in it, it is. Yep, it's Perfect. glazed on the inside. Then you could put soil or water in it. There you go. This looks like a spaghetti lamp wallet. It is a handbag. Oh, it's a handbag. And it has a lucite handle that you just use to open that. That's lucite? I'm pretty sure. And you should read what it's marked. And it is okay. in fantastic condition. Styled and created in Japan by Artel Manufacturing, Montreal. I think that little bag is pretty fantastic, if I do say so much. So it has one piece that zippers close for your change. The other side is no zipper just open it's like uh i don't know it reminds me of those spaghetti lamps but yeah it is it's like um it's it's woven but Let's it's show that oh it's not even on the inside zipper. it is like a woven type of hard material but it's made to look like it was beaded it's really really pretty so what are you asking for that i I'm going to ask $8. $8? The zipper works impeccably, and the white satin inside is super, super clean. It's not a lot of dirty hands or money have been in there? <laughs> no. Must have been a special evening bag. Oh, they probably spent it all into buying it. <laughs> okay, so $8 for the handbag. I should quickly give you a measurement there. Okay. 10 inches by just over four and a half inches. And the width depends on how much you fill it. <laughs> how much money your man is going to give you, hey? $8.151. <laughs> All right. Or uh, how many goodwill receipts you can put in there. Right. Well, we have had enough. <laughs> this crate's upside down. It's a 1996 salt and pepper shaker. It is so cute. He's... Look what it says on the back of his pocket. 
Bubbly Cola. This pocket says nay. I'm not sure why it says nay. Oh, I guess he's, he's a, a horse. Po okay, okay, got it. So in uh, German, nay is no. <laughs> but it's not spelled like that, I'm sure. There is a couple of paint um, chips on, yeah, this, little paint chip on his uh, mane. I think He's it's made by playing a guitar. Yep, it's made by N. Is that how you spell it? Silent E. Enesco. Oh, Enesco. I said Enesco. There's the date. Plugs are both there. Really good shape. And I don't know what you want for. I am going to say $5. Five dollars. Horse Cowboy SP. Number 144. Number 141. Pardon me. 141. And the little crate has like a, a spot sunken in for his bottom to sit on. He's wearing horseshoes. Oh, I love him. He's so cute. <laughs> Playing his guitar. I'm going to go into an elephant set here. Sure. Another elephant set. Yeah, these, these are, are like pearly luster. Pearl lesson. Yeah, that's a good word. This guy's got a, or this is maybe the girl, I don't know, has a butterfly on his head, her head. They are small, little ornamental elephants. They're in very good shape. And they are two and a, just between two and a quarter, two and a half inches tall. The pair, there is some paint there on the uh, on the eyes. Other than that, good shape. The trunks are not glued up back on or anything like that. They're not broken. Yeah, the one guy has an enamel butterfly on his head. Yep. Um, for the pair is four dollars. Number one thirteen. So yeah, they're just little figurines. They don't, they're not shakers or anything. Just sweet little elephants. Okay. Next, we're gonna grab this guy. And you said this the top is for scissors. Mm -hmm. And the Back is with a spool of thread. No, this is a measuring tape. Oh, yeah. out of his butt. So there's a measuring tape that comes out of this uh, lion's lion a cat. Lion or a cat? Um, but he's a royal kitty because his... he gets pins in his head. Yes, there's his. Um... So royalty gets pins in their head. <laughs> this is for scissors. Yeah. Like and then it, the, the handles of the scissors, depending on what scissors you put in there, looks like he's wearing glasses. I don't know if they would. That'd be really low scissors. But they could, I suppose. It would just be super cute. I should have dug out a pair of scissors to test it out. Six inches tall for this little guy. Does he have a mark on his bottom? He has a Japan mark. A Japan bottom. mark. Okay. On the side right. Oh, he's so cute. We'll so go $10 on that guy. $10 for the little guy. And he's got a working measuring gonna, tape, and it does say Japan on there. I'm going to call him the sewing kitty. Japan. $10, number 111. For the sewing kitty. Yes. Okay, let's go with... Oh yeah, I was just looking at this here. This um, this would look super cute with a white bottle brush brush tree in there at Christmas time, wouldn't it? Just I just saw it there and I was thinking of it. There we go. Yeah, I always shine. We we're going through thrift stores, but never successful. Here, one time, going through this little cup, Sean back at me. So. And also that little bell. The little dinger and right. the bell. Right, we found a glowed. bell, the, the, the bell that says August on it, mm -hmm. clear glass, and the little uh, center bell dinger glows. Mm -hmm. That's kind of cool. We have another um, red batch of lucite grapes. 
-hmm. with a looks like a wooden twig attached to it. Full length is nine inches, and these are all the same size. So for this red pair of lucite grapes, we are going to ask eight dollars, just like last sale. Similar size. They're, they look reddish pinkish almost, but they on the screen they do look red. Okay. Next, let's go with this beautiful, like the glaze in here looks at almost, it's hard to explain if you can see it on the screen. This is Blue Mountain Pottery. The three tree symbol. There is a couple of small chips on the outer rim. One, two, at least two. There's a tiny, tiny one there. Maybe one over there. So a couple of chips on this one. The inside is just a very nice finish on this one. It's almost when you're looking at it, um, not see-through, but it's, uh, how do you explain that? Hard to explain. I'm not sure. Nice uh, fruit bowl, mm. Blue Mountain Pottery, made in Canada. Uh, approximately nine and three quarter inch in diameter and we will ask because of the chips we'll ask eight dollars for it you know what i'm going to title this video jason's handing out deals <laughs> well other folks can make a buck on it too that's great and if yeah, they like it sure. and they want a good deal that's what we try and look for is sometimes we get caught though we spend some good dollars on stuff because <laughs> we just want it. Some of the items here are going for cost because we love them. I don't know what this is made in Japan and yeah. I have no idea. I'm I'm not exactly sure what these are either. They're very elegant looking. Uh they look like dust pants. They do. I almost wonder if it's not for their metal, but they're old. Um, sweeping up like hair clippings. Uh, I don't know. Oh, like in a barber or? Yeah. One is, the larger one is just under six inches by five inches. That's the larger piece. What kind of metal they are, I'm not sure. The smaller one is. Five and a half by two and seven eighths, just under three inches. They both say made in Japan. I don't know what you'd like for those. Um, I'm going to ask six dollars for the pair. For both? Yeah. And I'm gonna call them dust pants because I honestly don't know what else to call Vintage them. Dust pants. Really wonder what kind of metal those are. This one does have a tiny bit of a dent on the side. There. Hmm. Okay. Um, still have a lot of. Or we're narrowing down, I guess, but we still have cool items here. I'll let you talk with this one. This is one of your favorites. <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, I just had to laugh so hard when I saw this. It is marked Japan in the back. I think it's a spoon rest, but you can hang it on the wall. But it's you can hang on the wall, but you can also it yep, has feet on yeah, it. Yeah, it does. Yeah, you can um use it as because it has the little dimples on it. You can use it as a spoon rest. Um, but I just had to laugh so hard when I read this. Don't sweetheart me, you double crosser. You said that we were only going to wrestle. <laughs> She's walking by with her litter of kittens. <laughs> Just a little game of wrestling. That's all. Oh, I just thought that was hilarious. But yeah, so this I <laughs> this we will ask three dollars for. Uh, the, I'll call it the cat spoon rest. <laughs> and it's Japan, made in Japan. Yes. Three dollars is three dollars number one ten. Three dollars number one ten. 
cat spoon rest. And we'll go with another tray. And this one says Japan as well on the back. This one is so pretty. This is like a shell, a clam shell. Pink with green colors over. on it. I love it. And a nice handle. So a trinket dish, key holder, candy dish. Ten and a half inches. Uh, long by six and a half inches wide. And what are we asking for that one? I don't know. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. A little bit of crazing on the back too. There's one chip in there. Do you see that? Oh, no, I did not. Well, that looks we, like a paint chip. Still $10? Yeah, I think that's a fair okay. price. The little paint chip right there. So $10, number 125 Something that I don't think we mentioned in this sale yet. I'm just seeing our email scrolling across the bottom of the screen. Um, if you haven't bought with us before, um, Send your info to that email um, if you've claimed items here today with uh, your PayPal info because that's how we do our invoicing and um, that's how our payments are processed. Um, and we'll need your real name and mailing address so that we can get you proper shipping. Um, we ship every two weeks and our funds are in Canadian dollars because we are in Canada. Right. And shipping is in Canadian as well. Yes, with Canada Post. So here's a couple of very thin, very nice pink depression glass. Um, what do you call them? Like custard bowls. Custard or bowls. Dessert bowls of some sort. The pattern is amazing. Yeah, they are. They are really nice. They are. They do. The screen doesn't do it justice. Again, they are. They look better here than they do on the screen. What were you asking for these ones? We will say, we'll say six for the pair. Six for the pair. This one does have a chip in it. See that? Does it? Mm-hmm. Oh, fully. On the. Oh, it does on the foot. Yep. Okay, we'll go five for the pair. Five for the pair. Yeah. Okay. Very nice pieces. Um, how old is pink depression glass? Oh, um, well, 30s, 40s. And they're so, these are really yeah. thin. So 155 is the number for those and $5 for the pair. Next, we have, we found another one of these. We have a couple of them. Um, this looks like a blue jay. It might be. Bird That's, on a branch, anyway. And this one is white. This one is white. Uh, we were calling them fairy lamp. We do have... Um, they're made of porcelain and they're considered lithophane because of inside shiny. Um, the way that the image shines through when it's lit up. And oh man, the light is gonna. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, that's really pretty. Oh wow. So this isn't the base that goes with it, but this is we're just lighting it up with this base. Yep. Hmm. It's Rebecca's, uh, she's got a kitty one. I really like that. That's super oh, pretty. It's for snow though. Hmm. <laughs> so for that one, we're going to ask 
eight dollars. I was gonna say ten. Well, it's eight now. It's eight now. Someone's getting a deal. All right. I'm going to call it, I'll just call it the lithophane bird. Lithophane bird lamp? Yes. Number 156. Next, we come up with a set of hot, what do they call it? Hot uh, spots. Yeah. This one does have a bit of a yeah, there, food stain there on it. There is some staining on them, but I think yeah. it probably be there. washed out. So there's two. They are seven inches square, colors as you see them, little holders on them. They're knit or crocheted. I'm not sure what you call that. I think crochet. Crochet. And what would you like for the two? Um, Hot spots. Four dollars for the pair. Four dollars for the pair. Purple hot spots. Number one oh nine. Number one oh nine for those. So I'm not sure what this one is. Um yeah. Red barns this, and other scenes. this is um it's an art how-to book. There's a but two dollar price on there from back whenever. Yeah. The, date. I thought so. There's uh, um, art scenes and like Rebecca said, that tells you what colors to use on there. Just, and all these different the pictures and the the um, the font on that price tag on the front just. Uh, it's just really, really cool. And here in the back, you can see all of the different oh, ones that you could buy. So this probably would have been sold in an art store back in the day. Anatomy, <laughs> landscapes, pastels, still lifes. I don't see a year. So what are you asking for this one? Um, I'm gonna say $4 for the book. $4 for the $2 Red Barn, another scene book. Number 104. I said $4 for the $2 book. I heard that, <laughs> but I knew what you meant. Okay. <laughs> Were you going to ask $2? <laughs> <laughs> Number 2. You're giving the good deals. All right, so next we'll do the, um, let's do the uh, elephant. Mm, he's so cute. Elephant planter. What? He's like a, exactly the same colors as these ashtrays that were. That's what I noticed. So next we'll do the ashtrays since okay. they're the same colors. Look at him. He's so happy. He's running. He is. He's gleefully running. <laughs> ah, cute. The little elephant planter, what would you like? Um, six. Six dollars for the elephant. For the happy little elephant. Planter. He's he's like luster and he's got some gold on him. Yep. Elephant planter, six He's looking over to the left. To the left, to the left. So then since that elephant colors, they all match right into these mm -hmm. little Wade England. And these are little Wade England ashtrays is what we assume. Yeah. They're in really good shape. There, there is a one little chip on the teal one that I noticed. And there was one little chip. Oh, actually two. There's one there and one there. Well, look how cool the colors are to this. So they're Wade England. Even pink. A, my goodness, they're like a set. It is kind of weird. 
I didn't. Not huh. intentional. No, we were just pulling things. But they all have the Wade England A stamp on them. Super cute little elephant. And the blue one, the blue shell, does have those two chips on there. Yeah, I think the um, I think this is the same Wade England that does the whimsies. Oh. So what are we asking? Three dollars um, each, or nine for the set? Okay, let's do that. Let's do it for the set. Uh, they stack, actually. Yeah, it might. It yeah. Let's do the set for nine dollars. Uh, nine dollars, number one thirty-seven. I do not want to drop there. What do we do? They stack really well. Number 137. A little bit of gold trim on them. They are very matchy matchy to that elephant. Mm -hmm. It's kind of funny how that worked out. Next is another one of these um, copper, copper craft. Set of mushrooms with butterfly and a mushrooms with a, uh, another cricket or something on there. Maybe it's a that's supposed to be like a butterfly with its wings closed. I don't know. This one's opened. So for this set, what would you like? Um I'm gonna ask seven for the set. Seven dollars? Yes. Seven for the set of is it that same, it's the um, same plasticware? What yep. so what did we call that? Spy roll? It's copper craft i think Copper oh craft? So it's um soroco where soroco it, it doesn't say soroco it has the same copyright number same dart mm. industries made in somewhere. okay it doesn't well, say i'll just say but it's the same i'll say stuff. the plastic mushrooms is what i'll call them but they do have their hangers they are eight and a quarter inches wide that one is and this one is a little wider or a little less wide. No, oh, both the same. So they are number 135. And seven dollars for the pair. And for the final item tonight, mm -hmm. we have a chip made in Japan. There's a sticker on here. Just to might say something else. Try to pull that sticker off. There is no other markings on there. Okay, just Japan. Just hey? Japan. And it reminds me of a certain brand. It's very detailed, the face. Yeah. It's very, very detailed. And the flowers on the dress. So it's a spoon storage. And it's got a kitchen. Made there. in Japan. But I was I was reading this and I just uh just just listen. This is the kitchen prayer. Lord of all pots and pans and things, since and things, since I've not time to be a saint by doing lovely things. Are watching late with thee, or dreaming in the dawn light, or storming heaven's gates, make me a saint by what meals? By yetting meals? Hmm, I think so. By yetting meals and washing up the plates. Amen. So, what's yetting mean? Hmm. Can you, I'm going to have to look that up. So she's a spoon holder. So you could have like all of your friends over for tea and put your spoons in here. And then the drippings would be. It's kind of cool because at work we have a coffee cup that where we throw the spoons in. After, mm. And then we wash them. But you would have spoon holders. I don't think the guys would want me to bring this to work. What? 
They might look at me <laughs> funny. Just say Rebecca found it for you. <laughs> It's, it looks like it's sitting by yetting meals and washing. It almost looks like it could be two L's by yelling meals, but that wouldn't be right. No, either. that wouldn't make sense either. Make me a saint by yetting meals and washing up the plates. Mm. I don't know what that means. She's adorable. What do you want to ask for this, girly? Uh, let's One, see. Two, three, four. Mm -hmm. Eight bucks. Okay. Eight dollars. Eight Canadian dollars. For did the you details. Her? No, I did not. Spoon storage. Six and a half inches tall. Prayer girl. Eight dollars. That is our last item. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed your cup of coffee with us. <laughs> we've, we're excited to bring this one to you today. There's just a lot of different variety that we've have in our inventory and uh, enjoying showing what we've found. Yes. So if you have any interest, uh, by all means, um, put the number into the comments, and uh, we will. We bought a, another roll of bubble wrap, and we will wrap them up carefully and as safely as we can to you. Yeah. Um, if you ever see something that you got questions about, don't hesitate to um, send me an email. And even if there's something that you're looking for, or that you'd want us to be on the lookout for. Um, we can keep our eyes peeled for you. We do. Our, there's a few things we are looking out for a few mm -hmm. people. Uh, we're, we've been successful on at least two or three of them, Yeah. but, um, not, we don't want this. The only way you, we can help you save on shipping essentially is if you, the, you can put more items into the box. Yeah. Um, the, there's just one standard lower rate that we have. It costs for shipping, and generally we can put a couple more items into that box. Mm -hmm. to, for the same so price. That's why we did once every two weeks, because it can save you money on shipping. Um, yes. It, we just hold on, on to uh, so. the invoice a little longer, but that's what we're... This isn't um, by any means our income. No. This, this is, is a hobby. Is something we play at. Yep, we and are we're enjoying it. We're trying to get ourselves into a, into what do they call it the is it the black zone where we're <laughs> but we're always in the red because because <laughs> we keep buying. Yeah, um, yeah. So, so it's just something we're enjoying together as a husband and wife team, mm -hmm. and we can do it as we go on a vacation. We did it with our kids when we traveled to South Saskatchewan and they also seem to enjoy it. And uh, not all the kids, but yeah, our daughters anyway, our daughters do love um, to go into the thrift stores. Yeah. So it's kind of growing on our oldest son too. Well, it's, it's growing on others as well. Uh, even our, <laughs> in our family, in yeah. our family, um, our extended family, even my brother-in-law started to <laughs> be interested in some of the glassware. So yeah. Um, just to kind of clarify, um, I actually had an email today. I didn't even mention this to you. Um, somebody was wondering, just a reminder of like when we ship and when we invoice. Um, so it's every two weeks, but it's not that I'm invoicing every week, but it's from when that's you that you're the specific customer has purchased from the start. And then from the first time that you've purchased to the end of two weeks so, so it's not it's more complicated this way but it gives you the opportunity as well yeah. if there's something else you're interested in to save money on shipping so that's we're trying to uh we're trying to buy items inexpensively as we can but some of them we do like and we pay more for them but uh we try to pass on the savings to whoever's interested in the items that we are. Yeah, we don't want a money gouge. So by no means. We're just we're just happy it's a to hobby. have this these treasures in our hands and to pass them along to you. So 
thank you all so much for watching. And uh, I hope you come back to more of our sales and more of our videos. We would really like to put more content out on our channel, not just sales. Yeah, yeah. But we should. There's so many times we should have been recording. I know. And it's, uh, we have either we have grandkids with or whatever. The focus is everywhere. So, <laughs> yeah. Let's, who knows, if this can continue on for a number of years, then, then we'll have more time, hopefully. Yeah. But, uh, well, and then once you film something, then you have to have the time to, well, I'm sure you all understand this, but, um, editing the video and uploading the video and well, is it enough footage to actually put out the video? And <laughs> so, yeah, we will do our best and we will try to remember to turn on the camera more frequently while we're sourcing. When yeah, we go into yeah, the thrift stores, yeah, we should yeah. turn on the camera. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I think that's, that's it for tonight. And Thank you all so much for hanging out with us. And Have a great weekend. Yes. We will talk to you again very soon. Good night. Bye, everybody.